dear friends welcome to this edition of uh, of vbs anatoma this video contains graphic images and uh, videos of medical surgical and anatomical nature it is intended as an educational video for students of medical dental nursing physiotherapy allied health sciences and post graduates of medical and surgical specialties viewer discretion is advised for all other friends and well wishers today the topic we are covering is gross anatomy of the lung part 2 and here we are covering uh, relations of the costal surface and the medial surface the next video will cover the apex and the base of the lung and its relations separately this particular video part 2 will cover only the costal and the medial surfaces i am dr balasubramanyam professor and professor in the department of anatomy here at st john's medical college bangalore india let's begin we already have covered general introductory concepts about the uh, gross features of the lung in the video on first video the previous video where i have introduced the uh, shape of the lung apex base surfaces fissures everything now we'll directly go to the uh, costal mediastinal and the vertebral surfaces now this is a actual cadaver specimen the anterior wall of the thorax has been removed to show the lungs and the heart in c2 right lung left lung and the heart are uh, highlighted with labels this is more or less same as previous except that the heart has been removed to show that there are certain structures behind the heart also it only reflects how compact the arrangement of structures are like for example right behind the heart shown by the label here trachea and the left bronchus and uh, now further behind it the esophagus next costal surface relations the right lung and the left lung costal surface are shown in this photograph you can see the rib impressions uh, across the lung uh, this costal surface roughly uh, covers the first six ribs in the mid clavicular line the top eight ribs in the mid axillary line and uh, add one another two that means the top 10 in the mid scapular line that will be the extent that means from apex to base this will be the uh, ribs covered and the intervening intercostal spaces uh, because there is intervening intercostal spaces and the lung uh, keeps expanding and contracting for uh, inspiration and expiration these impressions of the ribs are very clearly seen although there is a pleura separating right now here is a cross sectional uh, photograph of uh, the thorax uh, region you can see the right lung and the left lung in cross section you can also see the ribs and the costal cartilage because they are the main uh, relations of the costal surface you can also see in front the sternum and uh, the costal cartilages remember the anterior border of the lungs are closely related to these structures next the medial surface we already know is divided into a posterior vertebral area and an anterior mediastinal area we have respectively therefore call them as vertebral surface and the mediastinal surface this is basically a borrowed from the previous uh, uh, video Now the mediastinal surface is the anterior part this covers the hilar region of the lung let's remember that now you see that 
dash line red and white dash line is a somewhat you know a, a tentative line of demarcation between the vertebral surface and the um, mediastinal surface on the medial side we will ignore the causal surface in this photograph you can see particularly the um, heart how it is related to the medias because that, that is the level of this section you can see the right atrium a little bit of the right ventricle and the left ventricle next also seen immediately behind the heart is the cross section of the esophagus and how it's related to the um, lung and also further behind it the uh, aorta thoracic aorta now right lung mediastinal surface the relations now we are we are on the medial side medial surface the mediastinal area we are going to uh, talk about shown in red thick area is the right subclavian artery its impression is there on the lung so therefore it's a very very important uh, relation of the uh, lung particularly in the upper part above the hilar region next you see that blue structure is the azygos vein i repeat because we are on the right side that is the azygos vein and see how it arches upwards and then goes above the hilum of the lung to join the superior vena cava i'll show that a little uh, later next or next few steps in the meanwhile behind the azygos vein a small part of the uh, descending esophagus is also related next you see that's the superior vena cava the lower this blue line blue thick area is the superior vena cava a little above the upper part roughly the upper half is actually the left brachiocephalic vein now similarly on the other side the inferior vena cava is also uh, its impression is also there on the uh, lung next that's the massive area cardiac impression related to the right atrium and a little bit of the right ventricle also next the hilar structures we will we will study now uh, basically there are three important structures the bronchus principal bronchus the pulmonary artery and a pair of pulmonary veins this is all however not cannot be shown in this photograph you can add one or two additional like lymphatics lymph node bronchial vessels I mean, they are small supplementary add-ons to the list nevertheless we we let's concentrate on the major structures either we see the bronchus principal bronchus or depending upon the vertical or the sagittal plane of the section you may see one of its next branches namely uh, the lobar bronchus now therefore uh, this is a slightly a lateral section therefore the superior lobar bronchus is visible in the upper part of the hilar region similarly the inferior lobar bronchus is identifiable i have identified this based on the thickness of the wall remember the the bronchial wall is thick because it contains cartilage next you can also see pulmonary artery the right pulmonary artery and uh, a pair of uh, right pulmonary veins in this photograph that's the hilar uh, structures uh, i have already introduced the pulmonary ligament in the previous video it just uh, an extension of the um, pleura at the root of the lung downward extension next similarly just like the right lung let's examine the mediastinal surface of the left lung now you see the massive impression is for the arch of the aorta that is the region above the hilum and almost the entire vertical zone immediately behind the hilum that whole area is for the descending thoracic aorta the upper part is for the arch of the aorta it's a very very important posterior relation of the um, uh, 
a very very important uh, relation of the mediastinal surface immediately posterior to the hilum is the descending thoracic aorta immediately above the hilum is the arch of the aorta further behind the uh, aorta is the impression for thoracic duct and the, and the large uh, structure here the esophagus now of course the cardiac impression is is the signature feature of this area both the ventricles that is uh, so, sorry the uh, both the right at left atrium and the left ventricle are closely related to this area the slightly and the upward extension of the cardiac impression is for the pulmonary artery just before it uh, divides into its two branches right and the left next that massive uh, deep impression is for the left subclavian artery and a little in front of it a less shallow uh, a less deep or a, a shallower impression is for the left brachiocephalic vein similarly just like we study the right hilar structures let's look at the left hilar structures you see left principal bronchus remember here the plane of section is a little more medial so we don't see the lower bronchus here but quite commonly <laughs> depending upon the level of section you can see uh, the lower bronchus also as we saw on the right side uh, incidentally this item lingula is not really a part of this video but i had missed missed it in the previous video therefore i thought i will just add it it's nothing but a small uh, a projection uh, just below the uh, uh, cardiac notch along the upper border next the left pulmonary artery immediately behind the principal bronchus remember this artery uh, its branching pattern uh, shadows the uh, tracheobronchial tree most of the time it is behind similarly the left pulmonary veins are also shown in the lower part of the uh, hilar region vertebral surface is the is the other part of the discussion we have finished the costal surface the mediastinal surface and now we are heading towards a discussion on the vertebral surface and its relations uh, when you when you look at the surface the vertebral surface it looks uh, largely uncontrasted when compared to uh, the mediastinal surface there are so many impressions nevertheless the vertebral surface is important because it's it's closely related to very many uh, structures now let's take this uh, same cross section of the thoracic region you can you can see uh, that uh, dotted line the area above the dotted line is the area of our discussion the vertebral uh, surface you can see the body of the thoracic vertebra a little more laterally and behind you can see the head of the rib neck of the rib and the angle of the rib these are the other important structures uh, the bony components that are related to the vertebral surface next same thing we are looking at a ct chest and you can see the same items which i showed you in the previous one in this uh, ct of the uh, chest uh, the front is the body of the thoracic vertebra and uh, more laterally the ribs head and neck and the angle um, students who find this video useful you can subscribe to this channel vbs anatoma and for regular posting of notifications about uh, new additions to the uh, list of videos you can also press the bell icon now let's continue with the further relations of the uh, vertebral surface of the lung remember this is a photograph of the dissection of the left paravertebral gutter the lung has been removed i repeat the lung is not there but the structures which are related to its vertebral surface are very very clearly seen i have already labeled the trachea and the esophagus uh, because it, they are the two key anchors in this region of the posterior mediastinum now you see the beginning of the posterior intercostal vessels and the corresponding intercostal nerves is uh, is clearly seen this is, this is a very important uh, relation of the vertebral surface next you can see the sympathetic trunk running 
down along the and uh, here and there you can see the sympathetic ganglion you can also see at least in this uh, the greater splanctic nerve at this level of the uh, dissection maybe at a lower level the lesser splanctic nerve is also uh, there next that area I, I am not showing the structure roughly that area corresponds to the body of the vertebra and the intervening intervertebral disc it's only a reference area it is i am not actually showing the structure but this is where you look for the uh, vertebra and the intervertebral disc this can be done from end to end from the top end to the bottom of uh, this uh, paravertebral gutter and you will find the respective vertebrae and the intervening intervertebral disc that's the thoracic duct it's closely uh, related to the esophagus at this position next just like I, I showed in the cross section photograph you can actually see the ribs the head neck and angle of the ribs uh, and along the lower margin of her rib you can see the posterior intercostal vessels and the intercostal nerve now watch carefully what I'm going to show you we are on the left paravertebral cutter therefore we will see two veins namely the accessory hemiazygos and the hemiazygos veins uh, uh, in this particular uh, region for important relation in this area the upper one is the accessory hemiazygos and the lower one is the hemiazygos vein in fact uh, in the previous um, uh, photograph you can actually see the um, posterior intercostal vessels uh, uh, intercostal veins joining the um, esophagus or the esophagus vein. Now this one is the right paravertebral gutter, the opposite side. And obviously, I am now going to show you the esophagus vein. Same posterior intercostal vessels and nerves. The veins join the esophagus vein by the by this sympathetic trunk also seen on the right side now that is the esophagus vein i repeat you can actually see the posterior intercostal veins joining the esophagus vein there is only one vein along the posterior mediastinum right side and that's the esophagus but the same vein on the left side is divided into two parts uh, one the upper part is the accessory hemiazygos the lower part is the hemiazygos all the posterior intercostal veins drain into either of the two that was a, an overview of uh, the um, gross anatomy of the lung in part two we have covered the costal and the medial uh, surface uh, relations thank you all the best